So here we've basically shifted the responsibility of shifted the responsibility of creating a new user object from you know the programmer writing the upper layers of the code to it automatically knowing that it needs to require once uh, when I create a new object. And now, if I create any other classes in the com folder, they're automatically going to get loaded just like the user class did, which is great. So this all gets a little more interesting with namespaces. With namespaces, you can start to define uh, absolute areas where your code is going to be living. And what I mean by that is that um, if you, for example, create your own fancy uh, CSS printing class, and you call it CSS Printer, and then you go and you start working with a framework, and that framework has a class that's also called CSS Printer, it's quite possible that there's going to be a conflict where your CSS Printer class and their CSS Printer class do separate or different things, but they're called the same thing. And PHP or PHP 5.3 and soon to be PHP 6 resolve this using what are called namespaces. And this is why we created a folder called com. And I'm going to explain that now. I'm going to create a whole namespace for killer PHP. So I'm going to create com and then I'm going to create a folder here called killer PHP. And then I'm going to create a folder called models. This is the beginning of our MVC framework. And I'm going to take the user class and I'm just going to put it in the models folder. So if you could imagine, it's almost like we've got killerphp.com or models.killerphp.com. So we're using the same kind of convention that is found in domain names and we're applying it to our class structure. So this is code that was developed by killerphp. So, and it's a model, so it belongs in the models.killerphp.com namespace. And other frameworks, once PHP 6 becomes more readily available, are going to move to a namespaced model that is similar. So for example, with the Zen framework, you're going to be seeing that the namespaces will probably end with framework.zen.com or zen.com. And all of the subcomponents of the Zen framework will have will be within a Zen folder. And it'll have the same kind of idea where uh, everything kind of fits inside of a namespace. So if I go back to Firefox here, you'll see that it can't find it anymore, which is okay, because now we're going to define a default namespace for our application. And this is where the PHP 5.3 stuff starts kicking in. So here I'm going to use a new declaration called use. So I'm going to say use com killer PHP models as models. Now what this means is basically we're going to be looking at uh, the models namespace and in order for me to be able to easily declare that I don't want to always have to write com killer PHP models. In fact I could uh, if in fact let's start there. So I'm going to comment this out for a minute and I'm going to say new com killer PHP models backslash user. Now this looks very strange at first. I'm sure you've never seen a class declared like this uh, right now, but you're probably going to start seeing this more and more. Now this initial backslash right here is very significant because that is indicating that it's an absolute path to the namespace. Now if I go back to Firefox and I refresh this, it says require wants com killer PHP models, you know, user.php failed to open, it doesn't know where to find it. However, this is going to get run through our autoload class. And we can actually discern, based on the namespace, where that file is actually loaded, located. So I'm going to do file name equals str replace. And I'm going to replace the backslash, but we have to escape the back backslash. And what I mean by that is that if you just do this, you'll notice that uh, bbedit is still pink. And the reason is, is that if you want to use a backslash inside of a string in PHP, you have to escape it with another backslash. Seems a little strange, but it, it works. So we're going to replace these backslashes with a forward slash. And then I'm just going to put in the class name. And I'm going to concatenate the .php. 
and then here I'm going to require once the file name. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now it says class com killer PHP models user not found, and uh, that's a different error. The reason we're getting that error is that our user class still is defined as an absolute with an absolute namespace. So we also have to define our classes with a new namespace as well. And in this case, I'm going to define the namespace at the top by saying namespace com killer PHP models. And then I just had to save that with a semicolon. And then it works again. So now we've got a great way of organizing our code as it slowly grows. We don't have any more of these ugly, you know, require once statements. And we're able to easily call out different different uh, classes in our project. So let's just try one more little example. I'm going to, in the com killer PHP folder, I'm going to create a new folder called controllers. Don't worry about the terminology right now. We're going to explain this in a minute. Well, probably in the next couple of videos. And here, I'm going to create a namespace. This is an untitled document, so actually we'll have to create a PHP tag. And I'm going to save this as, uh, let's just call this test for now. We'll, we'll write a proper class in a minute. So this is test.php. The namespace in this case is going to be com killer PHP controllers. And the class name is going to be test. And I'm going to create a public function. Uh, this time we're going to use the constructor. So this is a another neat little function that you might have seen before. It's basically two underscores and then construct. And this is the same thing as writing public function test. Basically, in case we decide to change the name of the class, in this instance, we would just use construct and nothing would change. In this instance, however, we would have to change test here and we'd also have to change test here. So this is just a little shortcut to keep in mind. Echo. I'm a test class in controllers. I'll hit save. And now, let's say I echo a line break. And then I do new test. Let's see what happens. Oh, ouch. Failed opening test. Oh, yeah. Well, we have to actually tell it where test is, right? So I would go com killer PHP controllers test refresh it again and it's working I'm a test class in controllers so this might seem a little lengthy to write having com killer PHP models user com killer PHP controllers test over and over and over again now if you were only working with a particular subset of your classes then you could essentially define an alias and that's what that use statement you saw me write before does so you can just write use and then here I would say com killer PHP models and as let's say M or MDL and then here I could just say new MDL user and that should work hold on ah there we go okay shouldn't have a backslash there and then if you wanted to you could just have some kind of base path so in this case if we're always going to be writing com killer php then I could just have com pillar killer PHP and then I'll just put KP and then here I'll have KP backslash models or models user and here I will have KP controllers test and there we go.